Hey, welcome back, it's Emily. I know it's been a while, um, but we're just gonna jump right into this thrift flip that I'm doing. So I got this matching blazer and skirt set, very old lady. I got it from Savers a long time ago. And I want to cut it up and sew it into a cute little matching top and skirt set. I have an inspo pick for the top, and then I wanna make the skirt kind of like one of those little 90s mini skirts with the slits in the legs, but we'll see how it goes. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of fabric to work with, so let's just jump right into it. All right, so I have this shirt that I like. It fits me really well. It's a cropped, fitted tank top situation, so I figure that's a pretty good template to use to draw out the shape of the shirt that I want. So right now I just have the back panel of the jacket laid out. I disconnected the the front and the sleeves and everything, so it's just the back piece. I folded it in half because I wanted it to be symmetrical. I have a chalk pencil, and I'm going to trace around the shape of this, but I'm going to leave an extra inch or so for seam allowance, and I'm going to extend the bottom down here because I want it to be longer, and I'm going to extend the sides because I want it to be less fitted. So I cut that out, I left a little bit of space around here for seam allowance, and then I left a bunch of extra space on the side and the bottom so it's looser and longer. It's always better to leave extra because you can take it away later, but it's harder to add it on if it's too small. So now I'm doing the back piece. And what I have done is I've laid down the front piece that I already cut right here. My goal right now is to line it up with the bottom. I don't know if that'll work out, but if you can see, if I keep the bottom, it'll be hemmed really nice already and I won't have to do it later, but it might end up being too long, so I might cut it anyway, but we'll see. So I just folded my shirt that I'm modeling this after, I folded it the other way, so now the back is on the outside. I know it's hard to see because of the pattern, but the back sleeve kind of goes in a little bit more than the front and the neckline is higher. So I'm gonna trace around again. I'm gonna trace the sides the same. And then do the neckline with a little extra space. I'll match the shoulders. I'm gonna fold this under so I can see under here. And I'm also going to kind of tuck that a little bit so I can see this line now. I'm gonna go from here out to to match it up with that. So now I'm going to take that off and cut it out. Okay. I used the back of the skirt to cut out this piece because I didn't have enough space in the front of the jacket pieces. Um, and I would definitely recommend ironing your fabric before you do this. I didn't, as you can tell, and um, hopefully it doesn't mess anything up. But it'll be a lot easier to see and the sizes of your pieces will be more accurate if it's not wrinkly. So in addition to cutting out the main body pieces, I also cut out four one inch wide pieces. Um, they're like two feet long, but they don't have to be this long. These are going to be the ties on the side. I'll just fold them in half and then fold them in half again and sew down the length of it. And those will be my ties to tie the shirt together so that it stays on my body, you know? And then I cut 
a bunch of two inch wide pieces on the bias, which is just like diagonal on the grain. Um, so I might use these, I might make it into bias tape and go around the sleeves and the neckline with it, depending on how ambitious I'm feeling later. And I might need more of these, so whatever extra fabric I have later, I will use that to make more bias tape for myself. Okay, so I have all my pieces for the top cut out. First step to sewing is I'm going to just sew the shoulder seams, just up here and up here. And right now I have them laid down uh, right sides together, and for me, since I cut the top piece out of the back of the jacket, it has these um, seams in it. So that's how I know that's the front piece for me, but also if you look, you can see that there's a little bit of extra space at the top of the back neckline. So that one's on the bottom. Well, let's go sew the shoulder seams, and I'll be back. Okay, so at this point I can try it on. I sewed the shoulder seams. And I'm looking at where these match up, and I think I want it to come a little bit lower. So what I'm going to do is kind of cut this so it, it's a little bit more of like a dropped situation under the arms. And then I also think I want the neckline to be a little bit lower in the front, so I'm just going to trim that a little bit and ignore the mess, but I also don't know how I feel about the length yet. I think I'm going to hold off on adjusting that for right now because I want to see how this comes together. So I'm going to trim the, the armholes and I'm going to trim the neckline and then I'll come back. Okay, so I trimmed the neckline a little bit so it's a little lower in the front and I trim the sleeves a little bit so it comes down a little lower um, so now I think what I have to do is decide how much of this I want how much of this like side part because right now it overlaps a bunch but I kind of want there to be a gap there but I still want it to be loose so I should start slow. I think I'm gonna cut off like an inch, like an inch off of the side of the front and the back because I want there to be a gap there. Um, I'm okay with it like hanging loose though, but I want there to be a gap and I want to also make sure that I'm leaving room to be able to hem it, hem the side, this edge later. So I'm just going to cut off an inch from the front and the back on both sides and I will be back and we'll see what that looks like. Alright, so I went and I cut an, about an inch off of the sides and they're kind of just... They're, they're kind of just meeting there, which is good. So I think I'm going to leave it there and then obviously when I fold this over and like sew it to seal this edge, it'll leave a nice little gap right there and then I'll have the ties probably like one at the top right at the armpit and then one like halfway down or like one like right under where my boobs are. So that's where we're at right now. So I think I'm going to actually do that. I'm going to hem up these sides. Yeah, I'm going to hem, I'm going to hem the sides now. And then I will come back. Hey, so it's the next day. I'm whispering because my mom is sleeping. We have our one. Um, I finished the top and I don't have footage of it because my camera died. It was late. I just wanted to finish it. But um, what I did was I made bias tape, which I'll link a tutorial to make bias tape in the description. And then I sewed the bias tape around the armholes and the neck hole. And I sewed the top. So to make the mini skirt, I'm tracing out a skirt that I already have that fits me well. And I'm just laying it out, I'm doing the same thing that I did with the top, I'm just tracing the edges and then I'll cut it out. 
and I'm doing the whole thing and then I'll cut it down the middle in order to be able to add the zipper in. And then when I cut the front pieces out, I will do it in three parts so that I can have two slits in front of my thighs, like kind of on the sides a little bit. So I'll do smaller pieces on the sides, on the outer sides. And I will cut it on a folded piece of fabric so that it's symmetrical. And then I'll cut a middle piece that is the same length from top to bottom. So here I have everything laid out and I have my three pieces on top with the two on the sides and the one in the middle. And on underneath that I have my two back pieces, which is the one back piece that's split down the middle. So I'm going to connect them. I'm going to lay them out right sides together and sew down the side seams all the way and then I'm going to sew down the two front seams but I'm going to stop a few inches before the bottom so that I'll have those slits. So now I'm ironing that middle back seam open so that I can put my zipper in. I will link a tutorial below on how to insert an invisible zipper. I don't have the right foot for it, so it's kind of weird on mine, but it's not that hard um, if you have the right tools, so I will link that and you can check it out. Um, but first I'm going to baste my zipper on and then I'll sew it in and that'll be that. So after I have my zipper in, I am going to go around the top edge of my skirt with some leftover bias tape that I made out of that same fabric. And that's just a nice way to finish it off. Um, and because I made it to fit me specifically, I don't need elastic or anything. It would be more comfortable, but... Um, the skirt is fitted to exactly my waist measurement, which took a few tries, so I'm just sewing the bias tape around the top edge, and I will hem the bottom, and then I'll be done. So here is how the matching set came out. I know I didn't show the end of the top being finished, but I sewed in the ties, and I think having them longer was nice because it allowed me to make a cute little bow on the sides. And to be honest with you, I don't really like the skirt and the top together that much. The skirt didn't really turn out how I wanted it to. But if you look at the last clip here, the top looks really good with just jeans or shorts. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, even though it was kind of messy. But I love you. Bye!